This guide shows you how to download and install VLC Player on your PC. Now, VLC Player is a brilliant program for playing DVDs and uh, video files. It basically, if it won't play in VLC Player, then it's not a true video file. It's probably a scam that you've downloaded. So, first of all, open your favorite browser and in the box at the top of the screen, type in www.videolan.org just like it's shown here. Then when you've done that, press enter or return on your keyboard. When the website has loaded, you'll see this and move your mouse over download VLC and left click once. It will then say downloading VLC for Windows. Do not click on any of the adverts here just wait until it starts downloading. As it says there, it says, thanks, your download will start in a few seconds. So if like me, you're using Microsoft Edge, it will say, what do you want to do with VLC Win 64 or 32? So we move our mouse over save and left click once. Then when it says it's finished downloading, move your mouse over run and left click once. If you're using Google Chrome to download it, then you'll notice after a few seconds in the bottom left hand corner of the screen, this will appear VLC just here. When it's finished downloading, you'll notice that the megabytes and the seconds left will disappear. Wait for this to happen first. Then we just simply move our mouse over the traffic cone and left click once. And if we're using Firefox, you'll notice that an arrow will appear in the top right hand corner of Firefox, an arrow pointing downwards, or it might say you have chosen to open VLC. If this is the case, left click save file and the arrow will appear up here. Then left click the arrow. And when it says completed, just left click on this little icon just here. And finally, if you're using Internet Explorer at the bottom of the screen, you should see a box that appears saying, do you want to run or save this file? There we go. So we move our mouse over save and left click once on save. Then when it's completed, move your mouse over run and left click run. OK, so right now we should all be following the same set of instructions. So it should say, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Well, make sure it says VLC Media Player and make sure the verified publisher is VideoLAN. If none of this matches, then click no. But if they all match, then move your mouse over yes and left click once. And then it asks, please select a language. So select your language and then left click OK. Then move your mouse over next and left click once on next. Move your mouse over next again, left click once on next. Then it asks you to, uh, to select your uh, components that you want to install. So what I would recommend is perhaps going for minimum. So click the arrow just here and left click minimum. And then it won't change any default uh, players or anything like that. Move your mouse over next and left click once. Then move your mouse over install and left click once. This bit might take a little while depending on the speed of your computer and it may look as though it's stopped at times, but please be patient with it. Just uh, if it looks like it's stopped, walk away from it, leave it for five, 10 minutes and uh, come back to it and hopefully should be installed. If your computer is pretty quick, then uh, it should only take a minute or so to install. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause this video and we'll come back to it as soon as the installation is finished. OK, the installation's now finished, so move your mouse over finish and left click once. Incidentally, if you've still got this window open, the VideoLand website, then move your mouse over the cross in the top right hand corner of your browser to close it down. OK, so now VLC Player has uh, loaded and installed. You might get a box come up in the uh, middle of the screen. It's OK just to say uh, OK to this at the moment. I, it hasn't appeared on mine, but uh, it's OK to say uh, OK to this. So if you do want to open anything up, just move your mouse over media just up here. If it's a DVD disc you want to open up, then uh, left 
click open disc and you can select whether it's DVD, Blu-ray, audio CD or SVCD or VCD and then just click play. If you want to open a video then just move your mouse over media, click once and then click once on open file. Select your file and uh, if it plays or if it's a proper video file and it'll play then it'll play in VLC media player. If it doesn't play then it's probably not a proper video file, it could be a scam. So anyway, that guide shows you how to download and install VLC Media Player on your Windows PC. Hope this guide helps. Don't forget to check out my other videos in my YouTube channel. Just Google Chris Waite YouTube. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for your support.